Hi, it's Warwick from Harder and Steenbeck here. And today I'm pleased to introduce you to Stephen Box, who's going to help us launch a new series of collaborative videos. Today he's going to be showing you his method for getting the awesome new Leviathan models from Games Workshop quickly into a metallic paint scheme to get them out of the box and onto the playing table as quickly as possible. And of course, we believe that the best way to do that is with the airbrush. Over to you, Stephen. Hi, Stephen here from Vanguard Tactics, and I want to show you how I paint metallics. What I've got here is some fantastic new Leviathan models. These are the Space Marine, the Terminator Space Marines. And what I've done is I've converted them, basically kit bashed them, and changed some of the arms around to make them look like Grey Knights. Now, Grey Knight is one of the forces in the Warhammer 40k universe. And these guys now with the brand new models look absolutely incredible. So I'm really excited to show you how I paint metallics. And I'm gonna be using the airbrush today as I feel like it's the best way to paint metallics to get a really smooth, smooth finish. Now I paint lots and lots of armies. So hopefully I can do this very, very quickly. So what I've got in front of me is six miniatures. They're all Terminators. I've got a couple of characters in here as well. So really looking forward to being able to do these as fast as I possibly can. Um, I've got some reference cards here so we can see like what I'm trying to look and paint for. Um, but yeah, if I get a really good smooth gradient from different types of metallic silver colors, then I'm going to be really, really happy because that's 80% of the leg work done with just using the airbrush. So when it comes to paints, what I'm looking for is a real smooth gradient from my kind of deeper, darker colors right the way through to the lighter. Now what I'm going to use here is Dark Star Metallics. Now the first one I've got is called Black Diamond. Why I like this one, it's got a little bit of a blue sort of tinge to it. And with the Grey Knights, they do kind of have the bit of a bluey, silvery tone. So that's gonna be my base. I'm then gonna put a graphite on to go a little bit lighter. Then I'm gonna use Pewter, which is lighter again. And then I'm gonna finish off with just a pure silver. So this is gonna be kind of my tones that I work through. And I hopefully think these will give a really, really nice finish. But before we start, we wanna make sure that when we're painting silver, we've got some kind of nice um, sort of chrome effects actually on the model. So a really good tip that I was shown from James from C-Studio is to take a picture of your model. And what you're then gonna do is turn that picture into basically chrome scale, so black and white. And what we're gonna be able to see then is using that picture as a reference guide, where all the highlights are, you can kind of see there's a little bit of shadow if I use the brush here see a little bit of shadow up here, but lighter in this area, nice and light in this section. This looks to be like a darker area there, and then nice and light here, dark inside the legs, lighter on the outside. And we're gonna try and use the airbrush to replicate that. We're gonna use that picture as our guide when we're getting these guys done. As you can see, underneath the helmet, nice and dark on the top, nice and light. And if we can replicate that with the silver tones itself, it's just gonna amplify what the eye sees. So when you are kind of moving it around, it's gonna look really nice that there is light hitting it from a certain angle. So the first thing that we wanna do is, we've obviously primed our model and I've used Colorforge Matte Black. I think that's a really great spray just to basically prime the model with. We're gonna put a little bit of thinner in first into that airbrush, just a few little drops. And then we're gonna put in this Black Diamond. Now, I'm a bit lazy when I do this, so I'm just gonna sort of put in some blobs until I feel like I've got a good consistency, get a little brush, mix it all about. And what I've got here as well is this is my dry brush palette, but I've kind of primed this in the exact same spray that I've sprayed my model in. And that's gonna give me a good indication of what this color is gonna look like over the black. So I think for our base coat, that will probably be fine yeah, I think we'll be okay with that. It looks like a good silver color. So let's go all the way over the entire model with this.
Okay, and already you can see it's quite a nice silver kind of blue color. Uh, and remember, this is gonna be our darkest color, so we are gonna go a lot lighter. But I think it's time for one more coat. Now, I'm really, really happy with that kind of finish, and that was probably the longest stage. The rest are gonna be much easier, but already you can start to see some of that chrome effect, and that metallic has gone through and, and gone over the model so well. So now, I've gotta do all the others. So I'm really happy with that coverage from the Black Diamond. It's got that nice kind of sort of blue tones to it. Um, and yeah, I did about three thin coats to make sure that it had really nice coverage. Now, at one stage, I put a little bit too much paint in and you know, the best thing about it is test it out. If you're not happy with it, add a bit more thinner and then it started to be fine. So now is time for that next color. So I've got the graphite here. Now it's a slightly lighter one but I am actually really happy with this. So I think I might skip it and go straight to pewter because I think there's enough kind of difference between the two just to save a little bit of time because actually I think these guys look awesome already. So yeah, we're now gonna skip straight to the pewter stage. Okay, so the next stage what we need to do is start getting this pewter down, but we wanna make sure it covers about 70% of the model. So we still wanna follow the lines of where the light is hitting it. Uh, again, you can always use that picture for reference, but what we wanna be trying to do is hit like this kind of top area, all these top lines of the arms, and where we can, we wanna follow the lines of the model. So this cylinder here, cylinders have like a line, so we're gonna follow that with a line. This kind of top area, we might wanna do a nice circular shape as you can start to see the light bouncing off that. So we wanna cover as much of that 70% of the model as possible, and then blend it into those sort of darker, shadower recesses. So we're not gonna cover the whole thing, just around 70% of it. Okay, so that's with the pewter color on and really happy how that's kind of come out now. It's looking really good. Really starts to bring up the brightness a little bit and I've just kind of hit it from those sort of top areas. Now, if we compare it to the other one, you can see this one's much more sort of dulled down. So yeah, it's I think nice kind of difference between the two. So it's time to get them all up to this stage. Okay, so that concludes the pewter stage, and I'm really happy of how these guys have come out. I think they look absolutely awesome. Um, now, I've covered most of the model, like we said, that's sort of 70%. Um, now, I need to go one step higher now, so I need to provide even less coverage to really pick out those kind of highlights. Um, and I'm probably now looking just to cover around, you know, like sort of 25% of the model, really, with this final cover, just to really make it ting. So, I'm really happy with that though, and I think it looks absolutely awesome and exactly the type of colors that I wanted for these gray nights. So now we're gonna go straight onto the Dark Star Silver. So now with this silver color, I'm literally just trying to apply it to those top areas. So for example, I know that the area of light is gonna hit the bottom part of this shield. So I wanna make sure I'm just applying a little bit of color just to that bottom part. And it's gonna make it just pop ever so slightly. Tops of the feet. And I wanna follow the lines where I can, where I can see the light hitting.
Okay, so there we have it. Uh, that last step took me five minutes to do the entire squad. So I'm really happy with how quickly I was able to do that. And yeah, it looks absolutely brilliant. You can see the light bouncing straight off that silver, um, but it's still got plenty if we turn it over recesses as well with those sort of darker colors and tones to it. So yeah, really happy with how these three colors have turned out. And there's still lots more to do. So for example, I could do a pin wash um, where we're gonna use the brush, some washes to really darken down some of the kind of crevices as well. That's gonna really make this silver kind of pop to that next level. And then of course, we're gonna paint some of the details. Thanks again to Steve from Vanguard Tactics for that great presentation of this technique. I'll be back soon with some more in-person content. I've just been super busy with the team back at the factory. So for the last few weeks, I've not been able to get into the studio. So please accept my apologies for that. Also, please don't forget to drop us a like, give us a subscribe so that we can continue to build this channel. We really want to get it as big as possible because basically we want to try to make everybody's creative journey with the airbrush as fruitful as it possibly can be. Thanks so much for your support and I'll see you next time.